Hey, good morning, Grace Church. So good to be with you again as we begin a new year with a new series of staff devotionals. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Um, and on behalf of uh, the Bowman family, we just want to wish everyone a very blessed and happy new year. And we pray that uh, God will continue leading and directing you and meet all of your needs in 2021. You know, 2020 was a challenging year for all of us, but I've been so encouraged by the number of um, people I've seen posting on Facebook and other, other areas where they've just recognized and reflected on the blessings in 2020. And I hope that was true for you as well, as we saw God at work, even in the midst of a pandemic, uh, working in our lives and working in our church family. You know, as Christians, we know that as we get closer and closer to the day when Jesus returns, things will not be getting any easier. It will actually be getting harder, especially for us as followers of Christ. And, and so perhaps God is allowing COVID uh, to prepare us in a sense, prepare us for what lies ahead in the future as we eagerly anticipate the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus. You know, the beginning of a new year is a time in which we, we look forward. Um, it's a time when we think about what goals we want to accomplish and, and what particular projects we want to get finished. And it's my prayer that as we think about the new year, that we also set some spiritual goals for ourselves. You know, the Apostle Paul encourages us in a passage that I posted on New Year's Day on Facebook, and also is something that I referred to in my message just this past Sunday. And I want to read it to you again. It's from Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14, where Paul says, Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. What a great passage. You know, the Apostle Paul had one goal for himself, and that was to know Christ and to be like him and to fulfill everything that God had called him to do as a follower of Jesus. And I think that's a goal that we need to set for ourselves. And so let's perhaps make that our goal then here in 2021, that we will strive to grow in our relationship with Jesus, to know him better, to be obedient in the way that he wants us to live. You know, in order for us to keep track on track with goals that we set for ourselves I think the key is that we just take little steps towards making that happen. Is there one thing that you can do that will help you grow closer to God in 2021? Perhaps it's something that you can do in a sense by setting aside some a few more minutes every day to be in prayer with God, to to be talking with him, to be in a sense, sharing your burdens with him, to be seeking his wisdom on tough decisions that need to be made, to be seeking his direction on the path you're to follow in life. Or, or maybe for you, it could be spending a few more minutes every day reading uh, some extra verses from the Bible. Uh, begin your day in God's word. Begin your day with him, hearing from him through his word. Or perhaps end your day with him, before you go to bed, grab your Bible and, and just read a few more verses so that you can end your day uh, hearing God's voice speaking through his word. You know, reaching a, a goal requires us to be intentional. So let's make 2021 a year of intentionality when it comes to our relationship with Jesus as we strive to become more and more like him. Let me end today with just this passage that I love reading from at the end of the book of Hebrews in chapter 13, verses 20 and 21, that reminds us 
that God is the one who equips us in order to allow us to serve him and to do his will. And, and so as I read this, uh, this passage to end this devotional today, may it challenge you and may it encourage you as we begin a new year serving our Lord, growing in him, obeying him, and building our relationship with Jesus as we seek to honor him and glorify him with our lives. So let me end today again from Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 13, where it says, Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. May that be the encouragement we need to really step up and be intentional in achieving our goal to be more like Jesus in 2021. God's blessing to you, and we'll see you again next time.